معقول لاعب بيصرف على نفسه فوق ال 100000 دولار تدي له جايزه 20000 دولار او 40000 دولار كمان اجسام اللعبه حتى وان فزت فيها فانت خسرت فيها اكثر مما كسبته يعني صحيح ما داخل في محيط اللعبه صعب جدا في الاول والاخر ده رياضي عايز يصرف على نفسه وعايز يحس ان هو بيطلع من اللعبه دي باستثمار يعوض عن كل الخسائر اللي بيخسرها يعني لن تكون الحياة سهلة ولن يسلمك أحد شيئا Steroids fucking kill you. I don't want to go back and bodybuild. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for, you know, how long can I live, right? The, 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 the stuff I got. At the end of the day, steroids will kill you. Over the past couple of years, we've lost many big name bodybuilders far, far before their time. Steroids will kill you. I think more young people dropping dead in the bodybuilding industry more than ever. Also discovered signs of heart failure. I know for a fact that doing what I'm doing is going to cause damage. If you have the choice to be natural or do steroids, stay natural. I like to be world class, and to be world class, you have to give something special. Young guys having heart attacks and having strokes, sudden death. The thing about bodybuilding is that you look great outside, but your inside's dying. We may look perfect on the outside, but no one knows what's really going on inside. I think those people are kidding themselves. This sport could take some years off your life. You get a true champion, unless you're really willing to take a risk. Now I wish I never did that bodybuilding stuff. So your first symptom is dying. I'm freaking 37, like something's wrong, right? إلى متى سيستمر الحال هكذا؟